wise. We get distracted. We oh yeah. Different. Well, the devils try to distract you while you're doing salas, so they they make you forget how many units you just did, and then you then you have to do a forgetfulness prayer and you do two extra units well, because you be let the devils of... distract you and make you have stray thoughts, and it happens every time. It's like, oh, I know where I lost those keys, and then you like want to run away from your salat and go find them, but that's what the devils they want you to stop. They'll like start helping you figure out stuff while you're doing it. That could be God saying, here's where you found your keys. Now, don't go <coughs> now, finish your work, and then you can go get them. Yeah, God could do it, too. But yeah, I know that the can. devils want to try to distract you, too, while you're trying. They want, well, the, especially in the masjid, most most of the, most of it's in the masjid. Like, the when the guy calls, I, I don't remember what they're called. It's the it's the person that calls, so they'll come to the masjid for prayer at the, at the specified the, uh, time. But, uh, but when they do that, <laughs> when they do that, the gin like breaks wind, the I guess. Canter. He's the canter. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, the gin, the gin uh, breaks wind like to drown out the sound of him calling to prayer and, and then runs. And then they say it runs away the dis the distance that it runs away. They estimate from the Hadith that it was like 30 miles. It runs away 30 miles, but then by the time they're all in the masjid doing their Juma, Jumu'ah, the Juma prayer, um, then the devils, the devils are back in there whispering in people's ears again. Like they came back th from 30 miles away where they ran away to, and then they came back and they're like whispering in people's ears and trying to make them forget what they're doing. And so it's like it's like a battle going on all the time in the unseen realm. It, it's it's well the jinn and the angels if. If you don't have the grace of Allah, you won't have the angels to like kind of ward away these jinn and so you, or untie the knots the devil ties behind your ear and all that. The slot's supposed to keep you. Slot's supposed to untie three of those knots. Like a lot of the Sunnah is how you untie three of the knots that the devil ties behind your ear every day or something. Or so. Okay, that was that was my spiel. That was my that was my little two cents worth. Oh, okay. Um, I was going to tell you the, uh, the, oh, dang it. Oh, did I tell, uh, uh, did I tell you I met Ali Ali Nordin, who is the cultural ambassador from, um, Tehran to Cairo. When was that? In 77, when I was with, uh, in my Oh, I thought you meant, like, yesterday. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh you're getting back Bob into the... I Khorasan, Khorasani that's where I was staying with Mahalat Ali, his son, at the Redwood Mosque in California, doing walks with Merchant Sam in San Francisco. In 1977? Islam. That was 1977? That was 77. I met uh, Dear Wyatt years later. <clears throat> Had private audience with him years later. So this is where you got some anyway. formal Islamic research? I guess so. I... I did want to tell, uh, there was something I was about to tell you. Oh, man, what was it? Um, yeah, see, the, the, the <laughs> thing about the... I was trying to get everything out of my system so I wouldn't make you forget something important. You might have been... <laughs> that was kind of why I was, like, trying to hurry up and just babble it all out of my head. Oh, okay. You got any more to babble? No. So now now if you got something coming up, I won't be interrupting you. Yeah, it's out of my babble. Um. <laughs> Let's, get back. Let's get back to Maryland's babble. we got to talk about the... Bible. Zombie apocalypse, or I don't know. Yeah, you need to be ready for that. Um, <laughs> I think yeah. that genocide was like kind of an indication that the zombie apocalypse and the Dolly Moon might have some kind of. I think those Dolly Moon are going to turn into zombies, or they already have, because they they look like they're kind of getting into cannibalism. They like burn the people alive, but then they're like kind of mutilating them too. So that it's just it's like. Okay, what it says in the Bible is that the river Euphrates is going to crack, and a seal is going to be opened, and these frog-like spirits... Frog-like spirits. There, That would explain those Burmese Buddhists. Well, <laughs> the frog-like spirits um, glom on, and they become a demon army. Now, here's what I can tell you, is that when I was doing some work trying to straighten out my early childhood and you know, why why they tried to murder me. It was three times I may have been murdered by uh, demons on those that tried to murder me. Anyway, this is hmm. what happened. 
and that's probably why I'm more aware of a lot of things because I died. May got over the um, other side a few times. That happened, and so <clears throat> that might be um, why I'm a little more sensitive too. I think I went over to the other side a few times too. Maybe. Well, I know I did, but that might, and then it made me more spiritually sensitive afterwards. That's right. It does. It makes you extremely spiritually <laughs> sensitive. And then, um, uh, so, let's see, where was I? Uh, oh, okay. When I started doing the work on that, there was this <clears throat> uh, color. It was like a green, slimy, frog-like color, and then a bright flash of red, and then uh, I felt like this green, slimy stuff was all over me. And this red was like a crimson <coughs> or a scarlet. And then it was a brilliant light. And then blood dripping down. And then there were all these people who were crying and saying, help me, get out of here. Is that the races and of Gog I and Magog? Or? Huh? Is that like Gog and Magog? or? Well, it was uh, that people were dead or dying, and they were asking me to help them. And I was hugging them and releasing them. I get these lineups every once in a while where I'm at a place where it's like a way station and there are people who are stuck and they have to go to the next side and I just hug them and send them to the next level or something. I don't know how to explain it. 